Hi everyone, Pam here from Creative Homescaping. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I post several videos a week on how to creatively manage and decorate your home. In today's video, I'm continuing my series on my bonus room remodel. And here's a shot of what it looked like before. I have been showing this in a series of videos, so if you haven't seen those, I'll have those linked for you in an iCard above and in the description box down below. But this is what the fireplace area of my bonus room looked like before. And here's the mood board with the kind of mood I'm trying to create, repainting of the built-in bookcases and redoing the fireplace. And now that we've looked at the before and the inspiration, let's take a look at the after. Here's the entry going into the bonus room and you can see the new hardwood flooring. Here's my sewing and craft corner of the room. Sorry for the lighting, these windows are very large and it's hard to get good shots without a lot of sunlight coming in. Here's a look at our old entertainment center. You can see the hardwood flooring, the new baseboards, the paint was existing. And now here's a look farther back. We had all of this furniture already, so none of this is new. We're just reorganizing a bit. I haven't done any decorating in these shots that you're going to see yet. I thought it would be fun to do those in future videos. And here's the side area. We moved a piece of furniture from this area over to another wall. You can kind of see it there in the background. And here's your first look at the completed fireplace area. I am so happy with how it turned out. Here's a better view where you can see without so much glare. but. It looks much better than it did. Here's the completed fireplace with the stone we used that was left over from some other projects. And we did put this in ourselves. Here's the granite that ties in with the granite that's on the countertop. Here's all the stonework that we did with the molding pieces. And we ended up using some dark brown caulking around the edge of the stonework. And then at the base down here, we put a piece of cherry shoe molding to match the wood flooring to cover any gaps. And here's a look at how the bookcases turned out. Inside, we painted them white so that it would be easier to see things. But the part that's visible, we painted the chocolate brown with the tan interior that matches the wall color. And then we painted the baseboards along the cabinetry the same color as the cabinetry. In the other parts of the room, we painted the baseboards white to keep them consistent with the rest of the house. And you can see there we had to do some really detailed painting work where they end. And then we also replaced the little gas spigot part there with a coppery colored one. Here I'm showing you the dark brown caulk that we used around the molding. And we cleaned up the inside of the home theater equipment cabinet a bit so it's a little more organized. And we can see it a lot better now that it's white inside. And the last thing we did was replace the door with this glass paneled one. I want to thank all of you for coming along with us on this journey as we did remodeling in our bonus room. And again, if you are new here, I post several videos a week on how to creatively manage and decorate your home, as I mentioned in the intro. So I hope you'll consider subscribing. You can do so by clicking on the icon in the corner of this video or the subscribe button down below. I hope you all enjoyed seeing the before and after of my bonus room. We have really been enjoying it and it's a lot less dusty without all of that carpeting. I look forward to seeing all of you next time. Bye bye everyone.